Hi everyone, it's Heidi from Flutter by Heidi. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the United Kingdom and today I'm working with the Lovely You stamp set. Um, we're using the Lovely Labels Pick a Punch which means um, you can get two different ends, three different widths already channelled for you to make some lovely banner punches. Um, little um, acetate card boxes, these come in a pack as you can see flat packed and they're great fun um, and all you need to do is just literally just pop those together and you've got some fabulous little um, that they are, can be either used for sort of sweet treats um, which um, I'll explain about in a minute or you can use them to pop little sets of note cards in which is what we're going to be doing today um, so recently I took part in a virtual retreat um, all I'm doing here is just reinforcing the creases while I'm talking you can see just that those go together and they you can see they go together absolutely beautifully so that's what the boxes look like and when we did our virtual retreat the lovely um, Michelle sent us a little treat box complete with some sweeties in and then our challenge was to create some cards to go in that so this is how it arrived you can see uh, we've used some die cut circles there a little bit of uh, embossing in white and some lovely colours so we were then challenged to create some cards to go with them so we've got some little uh, three by three envelopes in there they fit perfectly because the boxes are three and an eighth by three and an eighth so I'm not going to do the front I'm actually going to show you how to make those little cards to go inside so these are cards that I often use when I'm popping um, a little something in the post to someone just because because um, they're really quick and easy to put together um, but you can see create some lovely little cards um, and I'll show you how to cut a sheet of A4 cardstock to create your card bases. Um, now the stamp set here has got these lovely floral images and some super sentiments too and um, so that's what we're going to be using. Um, I recommend you get your grab your Simply Chamois as well because um, you might want to change the colours up in between um, so that's always useful to have to hand when you're crafting. I've added mine to my blocks already um, but that's just to speed things up so grab your sheet of A4 cardstock and I'm using obviously our, just our normal Whisper White and on the short edge I'm going to cut at 14.8 centimetres like so and then I'm going to score at 7.4 And I'm going to pop that in lengthways and just cut at 7.4 once, twice third time and a fourth time and that will get you four little um, just under three by three cards out of one sheet of Whisper White UK cardstock. So those are all our card bases ready to go. Um, some post-it notes are a good idea as well. Grab some of your um, slightly larger ones, so either sort of three by three um, or slightly bigger. I've just got some just because these happen to be the ones I'd got to hand. And let's get started. So your scrap of Whisper White we're going to cut into some panels as well so I'm just using some scraps of shaded spruce so I'm using the off cut of my Whisper White I'm using some off cuts of shaded spruce that I just happen to have in my kind of scraps pile and um, these are slightly short ones would be perfect for that and what I'm going to do is, uh, is create each card as, as we go along so what I'm going to do with this first one is I'm just going to pop my post-it note on the side and also across the middle roughly speaking and that's because what I'm going to use is this stamp here and what I don't want to do is have that poking out beneath um, my, my banner sentiment so I'm going to use a bit of pool party and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add that one above, flip the post-it note round, again broadly speaking in the middle and below my line 
and it's an imaginary line in my head. Um, then I'm going to come in with my leaf stamp and again do the same again. So just to pop that to one side and I'm going to use a really bright um, granny apple green. And these are my leaves, so I'm just going to pop that on. So what I t when I'm working with lots of stamps, what I tend to do is uh, pop my stamp in front of the ink I've used. It just saves me getting sort of confused. Easily done. So I'm just going to pop a couple of leaves on the end. need to come a little bit further down with those actually otherwise you're just not going to see them and this is why I want my post-it note um, to hand because I don't what I don't want to do is um, end up with um, with it on the back of my card as well then I'm going to grab my melon mambo and the little flower head and even though it's not going to stem I'm just going to pop those in there So, so there we've got our basic card and I'm just going to cut a strip um, for this one that's about, oh gosh, uh, probably, let's think, probably about, I'm going to go for seven and a half or seven centimetres and I'm going to trim that down to uh, sort of just under, so it's about 1.8 centimetres. And I haven't cut that at all straight. That's really rubbish. Let's try it again. Marginally better. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stamp in the middle there with my Just Because and I'm using my darkest of shaded spruce colour here. And just stamp in the middle there. And then that can pop straight into our punch. So choose which end you're going to use, which design, and just pop that in that centre channel. And turn it around and do the same at the other end. See, there we go. You could always stamp on that as well. And then I'm going to do the same by cutting a slightly larger piece um, of um, of shaded spruce and again I'm going to cut that one actually to about 7.5 so that's the full width of the card in fact um, but by the time we've actually um, punched that that takes it down narrower so again use those channels to keep it nice and square slide that in and then you'll find that that layers perfectly on the top there. So, grab our stamp and seal and just add that layer to the middle. We're going to grab a couple of um, dimensionals. And there we have our first card ready to go and you'll see I'm just put those post notes so first card ready to go okay so our next card I'm just going to do some simple stamping straight onto the side of the card so again choose the colors I'm going to, and designs I'm going to pop my I'm going to keep my pool party out I'm going to pop my granny apple green Away. So grab your next post-it, post-it next card. Just pop your post-it aside. And the beauty of obviously this one is that if you put it on straight, that holds it in place as well. So I'm still going to use my shaded spruce, my sentiment. So it saves me having to clean it. And I'm actually just going to pop that. Just on the side there and I'm going to do that first because I want to make sure I stamp around that with my um, other images. So I'm going to use this little flower here 
and some crushed curry. And I'm just going to simply repeat stamp down the side there. Grab my larger floral image and take those in between. So there we go. Second card ready and raring to go. Now our next one is going to do a similar effect with this one. So take our card base again. Again we're stamping down the edge here. So I'm just going to, I would, somehow I always find it easier to do horizontally. It's probably because my lights create a bit of a shadow. There we go. So with this one, get my seal out of the way. Uh, let's go for a whole range of colours. So I'm going to use my just because again. So we need to ink that up. And this time I'm going to create like a sort of a floral image coming round the corner. So I'll pop my just because up in the top corner. So let's go with a um, larger floral image just from the corner there. I'm going to grab my leaves with a bit of granny apple green. some pretty melon mambo flowers. So I've really kind of gone quite bright colours here. So add those in. Let's pop our crushed curry flowers. And I'm just kind of filling in the gaps on this. I'm trying to kind of create a shelf. And it doesn't matter if you go over the edge add some flowers in at the top there and then I've got a couple of little gaps so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to again um, might actually go for a bit of shaded spruce again for this just for those last little leaves As I say, you don't have to put sort of much, you can even come across the bottom of some flowers. So it looks a bit of a mess for your post-it note, but once you take your post-it note off, you see you've got a really pretty floral flower. And then finally, our last one, similar to our first one. So grab our post-it note and mask off again. Again, top and bottom. So if I just do my top half first, let's go for my shaded spruce. Quite a dominant colour, so I'm actually not going to put so too much of that in. What I am going to do is add some long sprigs in there and probably a little in the middle. Um, I'm still going to use my pool party flower and then I'm going to come in with a bit of crushed curry. So again I'm just sort of using all of those colours um, as we go around and a, let's pop a melon mambo flower in there as well. Just reverse that and repeat at the bottom. So again just a couple of leaves. Uh, where my long one is and you can just really have fun just playing around with these um, images and then it's quite a nice surprise when it when it comes um, comes together at the end right okay so because I've done that okay dropping your block never a good plan what I'm actually going to do is pop my stamp over that one I'm going to add my large flower and there we go that kind of cup just about covers it up um, so 
again. Looks a bit sort of riotous in colour now. So all we need to do is add our layer across the middle. So exactly the same as I've done before. I'm just going to create a, a quick layer and I'm just popping my inks away because I know what I will do and that is put my elbow fingers stamps into that. So we just need to quickly cut ourselves a little um, layer. So I'm going to go just under, so, so just over about so 2.5 centimetres. So that's our inch by again about 7.5 for my layer. I'm going to grab my Whisper White scrap. So this is going to be just about, it's about 1.8, 1.9 centimetres. And again, that one comes to seven centimetres. Pop that to one side. Add my Just Because. And again, if you were gifting these, you might want to um, change the sentiments that somebody had got a, um, a range of sentiments to use. You can vary this look by here I'm going to show you the other end of the picker punch. So again I'm just sliding that in the channel there we go and I'll do the same with this larger one so slide that all the way in use the channel to keep it square and then again just going to grab our um, glue. So I've got our stamping seal, just a strip on the back there. So centre that top and bottom, left and right. Add a couple of dimensionals onto the back. And there we have, ready to add onto the front of our card. So this is our Lovely you and pick a pack, pick a punch, pick a pack, and here you have four different little cards which are perfect to slide into our little box with those envelopes ready to go. So pop in there, add your envelopes, and we've got those lovely three by threes ready made. And either you've got a nice little gift or a set of cards ready for you to use. Thanks for watching another Make It In Minutes project. Come back and see me again soon and obviously you could scale that up or down onto a standard size card. Take care, bye now.